Hello students, let's continue with the topic of Squares and Square Roots Today we are going to discuss Prime Factorization Method In the last class we discussed the repeated subtraction method to find the square root Okay, can you find the square root of 729 using repeated subtraction method? Yes, but it will be time consuming Let's try to find it, in a simpler way. That is, finding square root, through prime factorization. We have 6, equals 2, multiplied by 3, a product of prime factors, and 15, equals 3, multiplied by 5, a product of prime factors, and 24, equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3 which is also a product of prime factors. Similarly, every natural number can be expressed as the product of prime factors. See the table of prime factorization of a number and prime factorization of its square. Can you find any relationship between prime factorization of the numbers and prime factorization of its square? When performing prime factorization, each prime factor of the square number occurs twice the number of times as that of the number itself. Let's use this to find the square root of 324. Three hundred and twenty-four can be factorized as three hundred and twenty-four equals two multiplied by two multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 there are a pair of 2 and 2 pairs of 3 in the factorization of 324 2 multiplied by 2 can be expressed as 2 square 3 multiplied by 3 can be expressed as 3 square 324 equals 2 square multiplied by 3 square multiplied by 3 square which equals 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 the whole square equals 18 square therefore 324 equals 18 square that is square root of 324 equals 18 Now, try to find out the square root of 256. Two hundred fifty six equals two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. Pair each twos, therefore, 256 equals 2 square, multiplied by 2 square, multiplied by 2 square, multiplied by 2 square equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, whole square, equals 16 square. Therefore, square root of 256 equals 16. Is 48 a perfect square? Write the prime factorization of 48. Here 3 doesn't have a pair so 48 is not a perfect square. If we multiply a 3 on the both sides, then it becomes a perfect square. That is, 48 multiplied by 3 equals 144 is a perfect square. What will happen if we divide 3 on both sides of the prime factorization of 48? We get 48 divided by 3 
equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, divide by 3. That is, 16 equals 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, which is a perfect square. Let's have a quick recap. Today we studied prime factorization method. Before winding up, I will give you an activity. Find out the square root of 729 by the prime factorization method. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.